All right, so I've got Corey with me uh, at Hell Performance. Um, and this is one of my favorite rooms because there's a lots of shiny, fancy billet parts in here. So this is a sandwich plate. Yeah. What makes this different from like a normal sandwich plate? Most sandwich plates have a single inlet and outlet. We've included two extra additional ports, which happen to be at a 45 degree angle. We chose that because uh, there's some sandwich plates where you put them on the engine block and they kind of, they knock and they, they, f they foul on different engine components. So we, we've we added the two additional ports. So you can either run sensors um, in each port. You can angle your oil hoses um, away from the engine block, away from the face. Um, and you've just kind of got total control of uh, where you want to run sensors. Yeah, I mean, I've installed quite a few sandwich plates and they're always kind of tricky because you're just stuck to, you know, generally an in and out on the, you know, the side of it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can think of a lot of instances where this would have been a great thing to have. But I also noticed that there's, within all of that, there's also a thermostat. Yeah. Yeah, so we offer three different uh, temperatures. We've got 82, 92, and 102 degrees. Yeah. Um, they cover all different climates and driving styles um, to suit each different application. Yeah, if I'm uh, building a car, I'm definitely using this one. This is, will make install like way easier. Cool. So I would call this a remote oil filter relocation. What What is this called? Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is a remote head for an oil filter. So the kind of traditional spin on style oil filter. Yeah, so I run this actual one on my Pikes Peak 240Z. Um, and it's because I run a, like a dry sump setup. It doesn't have an oil filter spot on the engine. Um, so this is, for me, this is really great because I can add two sensors um, for, you know, oil temp and oil pressure. Um, but it's also cool because you can like have the in and out, you know, staggered. It's yeah. really uh, impressive. Like every card's unique and different. So it's nice to have like some versatility on, yeah, on that. Sure. Yeah, you can, you've got total control over um, where you run either your inlet and outlet or your sensors again, like all of our products. Yeah, and that, that bracket's beefy too. So yeah. like, you can mount this thing anywhere and it's, yeah. it's, it's not gonna No, there's not gonna be issue. any flex. It's still and, quite compact though. And the machining is crazy. Like all of this little tiny, like machine, yeah. like they could have been easily just hogged out and anodized yeah, and been done Yeah, we've gone for like a mixture. It's like bull nosing on the top here. And then obviously, like all of our products, we've got the uh, the paint infill there that we do by hand. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, such a nice touch, yeah. but it's such a laborious touch. Yeah, sure. I think most people think a robot does yeah, that. But nah, someone, some well, a mixture of people do that, yeah. Yeah, um, really, really cool piece. I you know, have two race cars and these are on both. Sweet. This is one of our newest products. It's our inline oil cooler thermostat. This is actually version two, but we've, uh, we're really excited about this product. So you would need a, a sandwich plate for basically an oil cooler to run that inline. Yeah, so for anyone that's running either the uh, an oil filter takeoff plate um, or a non-thermostatic sandwich yeah, plate. Yeah, like this one. Yeah, yeah. so um, you would run this one inline between that point and an oil cooler. Um, so how would that work? What's the, why would you need that? So um, it allows uh, the flow of oil basically to, to go into the oil cooler circuit at the desired temperature to help with engine oil temperature warm-ups. Um, so when you start it up, you want to get the car's oil up to temp. Yeah. But if you run it through the cooler, it's going to take longer. Yeah, it takes much longer. Um, it's constantly being cooled then. So uh, we installed this. We've got three different uh, temperatures. And uh, at that point, it uh, opens, allows oil to go through the oil cooler to cool the oil at that point. It's basically just controlling the temperature of the oil. So it's kind of warming it up quicker and then cooling it when, when required. Sounds like you would definitely need that for like track use. Yeah, sure. Um, again, or a temperamental hot vehicle. Yeah. And you know, we've got three different temperatures, so it's like extreme kind of, and really hot, um, climates and requirements. And then even just like colder, 
um, climates. You know, we really kind of have covered that with the three different temperatures. Cool. Yeah, it is cool. <laughs> so these are like some vehicle specific. Yeah, they're all mainly <coughs> uh, Volkswagen, Audi group. Uh, vehicle specific takeoff. So they've Is this been, something you guys want to push more? Or? Yeah, we're, we're adding to the range as we go. We've 3D scanned engine blocks and uh, oil filter housings. And yeah, we've uh, developed those directly from those scans. Yeah, because if you can essentially plummet right to the engine without having to mess yeah. with an oil filter, um, yeah, because it just, I don't know, it's, sometimes it's easier just to put a bracket on, mm -hmm. put some fittings on it and be done with it. Yeah. Sometimes you have to run, you know, like a takeoff plate. Yeah, it's just a real nice touch. We've got some additional ports, you know, you can put some sensors at that point. Um, but they are a, an absolute perfect direct fit. Nice way of yeah, they're doing really, things. really, really nice. I don't know what this is for, this but is this good. looks really hard, <laughs> hard to make. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely it's just one of those. It's you know it, it looks a bit funky, but you know it does the job, and it, it's a direct fit piece. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's <laughs> this is intense. <laughs> so these are probably one of my favorite, you know, billet parts that you guys make. I recently installed one of these on one of our race cars, and it's a bulkhead, you know, for like coolant or oil uh, you got two different sizes essentially um what what was the process on this because you kind of you know you typically drill a hole through a firewall you know bulkhead an fittings yeah um but this is like way fancy yeah well it's exactly that to be honest we we wanted to just make like a a real neat and a real tidy uh, solution to to pass fluid through for any firewall to be honest because we've seen in the UK like a, a big increase in rear radiator setups and obviously that's much larger hose. Yeah, and for like uh, a drift car where they've yeah. got to get coolant from the front to yeah. the back. And it's mostly dash 20 hose so there wasn't really anything on the market that was offering that and there was a lot of kind of homemade setups but we just wanted to make like a real nice solution for that so as a permanent plate it's you know you can step up and, and down with yeah i like how like you could do like a dash 20 on one side yeah. and reduce it to like a dash 16 or yeah. upsize it to a 22 exactly yeah um and i like the little guy it, first of all i like how there's o-rings on so it seals yeah. really nice to you know whatever you know flat surface you're mounting it to and you guys uh, offer like a template to be able to cut out drill holes perfectly without yeah. guessing much um, but yeah, and I, I really like this one on our builds because we'll do like a fuel feed in return. Yeah. And it's a really nice tidy way of doing like a dash six feed, dash eight return or vice mm -hmm. versa, whatever, whatever your setup is. Um, but I can't find, I couldn't find like a a, a cooler, yeah. nicer way to, you know, transfer fluid through, yeah. you know, a bulkhead. Yeah. I think, you know, I think we just wanted to offer flexibility. It looks nice. I mean, the small version, you can go from dash six up to dash 12. Mm. And then the larger version is 16 to 20. Um, Very cool. Yeah, they, uh, they really tidy things up and you know, they're strong, they're lightweight. Oh yeah. You know, they're easy to install as well. I approve. <laughs>